Our next guest, a very funny comedian whose memoir, Foolish, Tales of Assimilation, Determination, and Humiliation, is available now. Please welcome back to the show, Sarah Cooper, everybody. <laughs> the show in person this time. I'm in the seat. Last time you were here, we talked about your very popular videos where you lip sync Donald Trump. Who? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering, because of how uh, many of those you did, which one of us you think is more sick of hearing his voice, me or you? Um, probably you. See, uh, I think it's you, because I, at least when I do his voice, I get to make him say what I want. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. you were, like, locked into, like, actual things he said. Right. It's more terrifying. Yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> It's, uh, <laughs> the things you're saying are actually kind of funny. The things he's saying is, you are scared. Yeah. You're just scared. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, this is a wonderful book, and uh, you. you're very welcome. And a memoir. We actually uh, we were talking. Uh, we were at a dinner, and we were talking about writing a memoir. And you actually had some advice for yes. anyone who would take this leap into writing a memoir. Yes. Um, so the one thing I wish I had done before writing this book is read a book. Yeah. Um, That's a really smart, like, yeah. step one. It's yeah. just, I, I wish I had just picked one up. But see, the thing is, I skim. Yeah, I'm you're a skimmer. A skimmer. Got I it. don't really read. Who reads? Does yeah. anybody read? You just buy books. You don't actually read them. Um, so that was my first mistake. And I do um, want to apologize to the gentleman who reviewed the book on Goodreads who said, uh, Sarah admitted that she wrote most of this high, and it shows. Um, <laughs> That seems like a positive review. He's calling you a truthful person. I am, but should I have written in the book that I wrote this book high? Should I have done that? I don't know. Um, but I think if you skim it while high, it's really good. Uh, it's it's got a some really stuff good book. It. It's a That's really a good book. That's a very interesting way of saying it. Look, yeah. I was high. Don't beat yourself up. Just yeah, skim it. You know, write high, edit sober, submit drunk. There you go. <laughs> you talk about your comedy being very, yes, this is, this is, this is good <laughs> memoir advice. Um, you talk about how your comedy is very popular with dads. Could oh. you extrapolate on that? Dads love me. <laughs> they love me. They love me. Uh, too bad they're married. Yeah. Um, not all of them. Not all of them. Yeah, not that's all fair. Of them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the first time I got recognized, I was um, walking my little dog, Stella. She's a cute little cockapoo, and she was taking a giant poop. And um, I had my mask on, and so I bent down to pick up the poop, but I couldn't get the little green bag open, so uh -huh. I took down my mask to lick my fingers to open the bag. Very sanitary. <laughs> um, and this little girl, 10-year-old girl, came over and she said, are you Sarah Cooper? And I was like, it's happening. It's happening. <laughs> and um, I was like, yes, I'm Sarah Cooper. Are you on TikTok? <laughs> and she was like, no. My dad sends me your videos. <laughs> yeah. Heartbreaking. My dog saw the whole thing. I mean, yeah. it was really, really embarrassing. And um, at, at first, I was like, you know, maybe he was just kind of, you know, a younger sort of millennial dad. Sure. You know, not that bad. Yeah. But then I was doing my Netflix special, and Mar Marissa Tomei came over to me, and she said, Sarah, can I get a picture with you? And I was like, oh, my god, Marissa Tomei wants a picture with me? And she was like, no, it's for my dad. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's how you know, once you get that second uh, yeah. example. But hello to Marissa Tomei and her dad. And her dad. Yes. Um, uh, you talk about uh, how you were uh, dating again. Yeah. Uh, you are, you uh, write about your divorce very openly and honestly in this. Yes. And you're dating again and that men are, uh, you find men to be robots uh, currently in your dating yeah. experiences. And yeah. you have some red flags. I you do. OK, what are some red flags we should um, look out for? Tall with a good head of hair. Bad. That's bad. <laughs> See. Elon Musk is building these robots because yeah. um, he needs, you know, he needs little androids to build his Teslas. Yeah. Um, and so he knows that a woman will overlook just about anything if a man is tall with a good head of hair. So that is likely a robot. That is likely a robot. Okay, interesting. Short, bald men are, are okay. Okay, gotcha. They're okay. Yeah. Um, let's see. Monotone voice. Yeah. Okay, so if he uses the same tone of voice to say, I went to Duke, as he does to say, I'm gonna That's, yeah. that's a robot. That's a robot. That's a robot. Watch out for that. I mean, he doesn't really, you know, the funny thing, he doesn't seem excited about either of those things. Either of those things. Yeah. It's a red flag. Yeah. Um, 
The other one is if he responds to really cute text messages in a weird way, uh, like if you wake up thinking about him and you send him a text message and you're like, I woke up thinking about you, and he responds, LOL. Um, <laughs> classic, classic robot Classic tell. robot. So helpful. Yeah. This is also very helpful. You're doing a very kind thing with your uh, wedding ring. Uh, you're divorced. Yes. You are gonna, you're going to auction it off. I am. For a good cause. Yes. What I is am. the cause? I'm such a good person. Um, I, um, I'm giving it to the Entertainment Community Fund. That's very to nice. To auction this is it off. Helpful during strike times. Yes, during strike times because I, um, I wanted to be part of the WGA for so long, uh, the Writers Guild, and in 2020 I was actually able to join and uh, get my health insurance through the WGA. And without that health insurance, I wouldn't have been able to get divorced. <laughs> well, that's fantastic. So they I'm donating up. my wedding rings. And uh, yes. you can go to your Instagram page. Yes. Go to my Instagram. Sarah Cooper, everybody, Foolish is available wherever you buy books.